What's up guys? So as you guys already know, GPU prices are very high right now. And many of us would undoubtedly point our fingers at cryptocurrency miners for the rapid increase in GPU prices in the last couple of months. Well guys, us gamers may be saved from this irrelevant craze and here is why. GPU mining isn't actually dying, but miners leeching up gaming GPUs is dying. This is because Nvidia seems to be bringing out a mining dedicated graphics card to keep miners off the gaming oriented ones. This GPU is codenamed Turing after the famous computer pioneer Alan Turing. I'm not going to be getting into the details about Turing right now, but if you're interested in that, then make sure to check out my dedicated video. But just as a recap, Turing is supposed to be a really good mining card as much superior to gaming cards in terms of mining, which will hopefully drag most if not all miners away from the gaming market. So where does that leave current graphics cards and gamers? Well, Nvidia also has a gaming series planned to launch alongside the Turing, which is coded Ampere. Unfortunately, Ampere seems to just be a Pascal refresh and not what we expected as Volta. But Ampere also seems to deliver a noticeably significant upgrade and as a result, it'll be pretty reasonable. The GTX 2060 is expected to match the performance of the GTX 1080 to give you some perspective on that. On my video about Ampere, I received some questions about why miners wouldn't just turn to gaming GPUs after their mining graphics cards run out. Well here's my take on it. Nvidia is in a great position right now in terms of sales and revenue and that just seems to be going up. However, they are on very bad terms with gamers themselves. Many gamers feel that it is Nvidia's fault for not handling GPU mining properly and not pre-planning for potential GPU shortages. And as a result, Nvidia would want to regain that trust of gamers by redeeming themselves. At the same time, they don't want to lose mining consumers and that is precisely why they are launching true product lines. Thus, I personally believe that Nvidia would design the gaming chips in a way that it does not excel in mining like it wouldn't have good hash rates and things of that sort. Nvidia will probably do something like this because I really doubt they'd want to receive a lot of backlash from their, I guess, permanent consumers. Mining is much more volatile to Nvidia than gamers, so Nvidia would want to keep their gaming consumers. Nvidia has already stopped the production of some parts that are used in their 10 series GPUs, so this next series is right around the corner. Ampere and Turing expected to be revealed on March 26th at GTC and released on April 12th. So what is the main point I wanted to get across in this video? Well all I wanted to tell you guys is that from now on GPU cryptocurrency mining should not affect gamers anymore due to some upcoming graphics cards from Nvidia. Well guys that's all I have for you guys on this video but make sure to continue this discussion down in the comments down below. I read all my comments and I am curious as to what you guys are thinking. For example, what do you think miners being pulled away from the gaming scene will do and what do you think Ampere and, and Turing will do to GPU prices? Will they skyrocket themselves or will they be more forgiving? Also, if you have any constructive criticism, then make sure to comment that as well because I would like to improve my videos to make them more enjoyable and or informative for you guys. But that's all I have for you guys this time. If you guys like this video, then make sure to drop a like on this video and smash that subscribe button if you guys loved it and would like to see more videos just like this. But until next time, bye.